Hi, my name is Jack. In this channel, I talk about personal finance, adulting, and self-improvement. And today, in this video, let's talk about how to save and budget your money as a college student. This video is a request I got from Anne Bernal Antaso. So the question is, as a working student, what to focus on financially while not depriving myself of the things that I want? How to? I'd love to see a video dedicated to people like us who study and work at the same time. Thank you, heart. Hard. Okay, so ganito na lang. Do you see yung basic concept ng personal finance? Because either you're a working student na nag rely on your work to provide for your school expenses or you're a student na humingi ka ng allowance from your parents. I think uh, managing your cash flow well is the primary step para mapag-save ka and you'll be able to manage your money. So how do you manage your cash flow? So step one is to write down all your income or your allowances and your expenses. Trust me, it is important to write it down. Hindi porket kabisado mo na kung magkano yung allowance mo or yung sweldo mo or kung magkano yung transportation expense mo or yung food expense mo. It is important to write it down. So let me illustrate and share to you yung breakdown ng cash flow ko before yung nag-aaral pa ako. So yung allowance ko was 250 per day. This was paid back from 2010 to 2016. My typical expenses are food which costs me 50 pesos per day. My transportation which costs me 110 per day and etc which are booklets, ball pens, photocopy which cost me around 20 pesos per day. So in a day I was able to save 70 pesos and I usually go into school like 5 times a week so in a month uh, I'll be saving around 1,400 pesos but I do also go to the party which cost me around 500 that's once a month so in a month, I'll be able to save at least 100 pesos. Okay, it doesn't end there. What you need to do is to keep track of talaga na hit mo yung savings goals mo. Because madalas naman, uh, in reality, hindi natin na uh, hit totally. There's some sort of discrepancy. So ayun, just keep adjusting, keep adjusting until mahit mo talaga idea savings goal mo. Okay, bonus round. This is an extra money saving tip I got from a YouTube comment before. So sabi niya, dinadala niya lang daw yung exact money na kailangan niya for his uh, school expenses and iniiwan niya na yung uh, extra money niya para hindi niya na mag -gasso. So if you have other parang money saving tip, kindly share in the comment section because it will help yung makakabasa ng comment nyo. Step 2. Increase yung allowance mo or your income and decrease your expenses. So if you are doing yung step 1 now which is to budget your money wisely, okay na yun. It's, you're actually at a good start because here in the Philippines, hindi naman talaga natin masyadong pinag-uusapan how to manage and budget your money wisely because it's kind of taboo here in the Philippines to talk about money. But if you're able to proceed here into step 2, you're going to probably manage your money well once you start ka na mag-work. Some ideas that I could share for you to make money as a student is number 1 is to apply for a student assistant. So back na nasa Mapuwa pa ako, I have a lot of friends who work as student assistant to different departments because dun sa school namin, uh, there are different departments that needs student assistance. Uh, another is to sell tangible products. So yung mga patok na patok sa amin before are school lanyards and t-shirts. Uh, yo, so yun, you could also try that or kaya naman to uh, sell food if you could do food. Uh, so that's a viable option din para sa'yo. Another is selling a service. So in Mapua, yung patok na patok na mga service sa amin that you could make money of is by writing engineering lettering for other students o kaya naman to do prototypes or projects for other students. So yun, depende kung saan school ka, just parang look at the market kung ano yung pwedeng service na pwede mong iserve sa mga nangangailangan ng service. And also, in this uh, day and age, parang feeling ko, content writing and taking photos or making video is one way or parang a possible way for you to make money na as a student. Lastly, buy and sell products. So dito, just pick the area of your interest. So gagamitin ko na lang example yung brother ko was still in college. So siya, nag-aabang siya ng mga uh, release ng mga sneakers over the internet. Then, i-resell niya lang yon at a higher price value compared kung magkano niya nabili over the internet. Again, just find the area of your interest. Lastly, isa pa pwede kong share is find a scholarship that fits you. Siguro isa to sa mga bagay na hindi masyadang aware yung mga students. But there are a lot of uh, private scholarships that gives allowance and parang shell out to your tuition fee. So, ito parang hindi masyadang aware yung mga students. But please, uh, take a look uh, to yung scholarships that are being offered into your school. And another is... Uh, Parang try to parang look for allowances from your city government because I have friends na from the city of Taguig so sila they just maintain a certain grade and pagka na maintain nila yung certain grade nila na yun, they could parang get allowance from their city government. For decreasing your expenses, so ito medyo mahirap-hirap na to because if you're just spending based on your necessity, so parang wala ka na talagang may babawas doon. So parang ito case-to-case -case basis na lang. So kasi ako nung college ako, I have friends who brings car to school and naiisabay nila ako sa kanila papasok and pa -uwi. 
and hindi nila ako sinisigil ng uh, transportation expenses. So, dahil doon, parang nakamura ako sa mga transportation expenses ko. And another is to bring your own food. So, ito, hindi nga lang siya cool or badulto, badulto tingnan. Because sa college ka na, nagdadala ka pa rin ng packed food. But trust me, it will save you a lot of money if nagbabaon ka going to your school. Again, for decreasing your expenses, you have to be a bit creative. Uh, but if you have parang tips or tricks or ways, please kindly share it in the comment section down below. Lastly, balik tayo dun sa original question. So let me just read it again. Uh, as a working student, how to focus on financially while not depriving myself of the things that I want? How to? I'd love to see a video dedicated to people like us who study and work at the same time. Thank you, Heart. Okay, dun muna tayo sa first question na as a working student, what to focus on financially? So for me, pag gaganto, student ka pa lang or you're in your early 20s, for me, focus on building a habit in saving your money and invest in your passions. Okay, dun tayo sa part na while not depriving myself and how to. So for me, itong part na to, it's more on mindsetting na uh, and accepting the fact na you're, you're, you're in your early 20s or you're just a student and meron talagang mga gusto mo na hindi mo pa talaga ma-afford and it's just fine and for me just be patient na knowing na the reason why uh, there are things or there are times that deprive mo yung sarili mo from some fun is uh, by knowing and giving yourself a higher chance na makuha mo kung ano talaga yung mas gusto mo in the future okay during my college time may mga fun times ako na na missed ko kasi uh, nagtitipid ako may mga out of town trips ako na hindi ako sumama sa mga friends ko I mean, it sucks at that time nung college ako, but it's fine with me now. So, ito, uh, this parang mindset sa akin, uh, why I don't feel deprived uh, kahit nagtitikid ako ng mga panahon na yun. Na panahon na yun is because uh, I know na there will be a time na opportunity that will arise and ayoko na yung reason kung bakit hindi ko magagrab yung opportunity, opportunity na yun is dahil hindi ako nag-ipon before. So, para sa akin, uh, that's one mindset na meron ako. That's why I don't feel na parang nade-deprive ko yung sarili ko before. And another is, um, as someone who wants to take a different career path, kailangan mo ng runway money. So, let me explain yung runway money. So, for me, uh, I think of myself as an airplane. So, before ka mak makapag-take off, kailangan mo ng runway. And think of your runway as your own money. The more money you have, the longer yung runway mo. The more chances for yourself or your airplane to take off ng maayos. Lastly, don't put too much pressure on yourself. Parang bata ka pa, you have a long, long way to live. And marami ka pang chances to get yourself successful. So, ayun lang. Just enjoy yourself parang day by day. There will be fun times, good times, shitty times, bad times. Alam yun, parang cycle lang talaga. Learn how to love it. And don't get caught sa destination addiction na magiging masaya ka lang once na na-achieve na yung gusto mo. Because I truly believe na pwede kang magiging masaya while still on the process of achieving what you really want. Because most of the time naman, once na-achieve mo na yung gusto mo, it's not actually what you appreciate. Rather, it's how you get there. So instead, focus more on the journey and not the destination. I hope I'll give you a good answer or na satisfied kasi sagot ko. That's it for this video. I hope you find something meaningful and useful dito sa video na to and I didn't waste your time. Uh, if you like the video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not yet a subscriber. And if you really appreciate my video, I would love to ask help sana na to share my channel to a friend na of yours na who you might think would appreciate my type of content. So yun lang, uh, I parang have this personal goal to reach a thousand subs by the mid of the year. So parang at the last day of June. So yun, I hope you could help me reach that goal. That's it for this video. Uh, see you in the next video. That's it. Bye-bye.